Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on color schemes in Stata. In order to get it going let's go ahead and load a data set and I'm going to use Census 13. It's a pre-installed data set here in Stata and it consists of the demographic characteristics of the US states and I'm just going to create a scatter plot today of the relationship between two of the variables in this data set marriage rate and divorce rate here. So before we get going and bearing in mind that we are doing a tutorial on color schemes let's go ahead and run this code first graph query comma schemes and what this is going to do is it's going to show you all the color schemes that you have installed in your version of Stata which will include the color schemes up uploaded by Stata itself and also any new color schemes that you might have installed uh, from user commands and the like. So the first thing we should do is just check the default here in Stata and I'm going to create a scatter plot here uh, just as I said of the relationship between marriage rate and divorce rate and there's what the graph looks like. So we have marriage rate here on the x-axis and divorce rate here uh, on the y and uh, always a point of interest when working with this data set this outlier here is Nevada which if you know anything about uh, US culture has a very high marriage rate and divorce rate because the because of the ease of marriage and divorce uh, in that particular state. So this is what the color scheme looks like as a default. There's a ton of things that we can do here in Stata and so I just want to kind of run through a handful of color schemes and just show you um, features that you can incorporate when you want to customize. The first thing that you want to note is right after a comma here in the initial command we're going to add this code scheme and in parentheses we're just going to do rbn1 mono which is one of the schemes that as you can see here with my mouse I already have installed and we can see what that looks like so as you can see that's a very different look um, from what we had and the next one is a VG bright that I wanted to show you highlighted here and as you can see, that's that's quite funky. It's a it's a very different look that you have there. Um, let's go through some of the mono schemes. This is S2 mono. So as you can see, we have some gray showing up here and black, but we still have kind of the light blue over here. Uh, S1 mono is a is a good start here for someone who wants uh, really very plain. I don't want to say black and white because we have uh, these gray dots here in the scatter plot. But by the way, this is a good opportunity for me to just quickly show you how we can adjust that. I'm going to go ahead and open the graph editor here in Stata. And then once that's open, all I have to do is click inside on these dots. And let's say that I want to go completely black and white. So it's just a point and click, really. I've just specified color here. I'm going to click OK. And when I click off that, you can see that I've turned these previously gray dots into black. So this is now perfectly acceptable, uh, completely black and white graph, which might be required uh, in APA format, for example, or, or by certain journals. Let's look at a few more schemes. I want to show you the S1 color scheme, which is a nice clean look. And here's S1 R color which as you can see is very different, uh, very striking uh, black and yellow here. And again, I want you to note that once you create the graphic with whatever color scheme you've chosen, you can go in there and you can do a lot of customization in the graph editor. It's, it's, it's very easy to do. Um, there are going to be times when just putting the comma in the scheme is, is not going to work. Um, the comma might come earlier in a more complex a graph and then in that case you wouldn't you know you wouldn't add the comma here so uh, there are going to be some possible wrinkles when you add schemes to the end of like longer more complex commands but really I would imagine for 80 90 percent of purposes um, you know for graduate school for a PhD thesis for that kind of work you're not really going to need to worry about that I would in particular call your attention to the S1 mono color scheme here as being uh, a really good default choice because a lot of times you're going to want to create a black and white or maybe grayscale you know with a little gray black and white and that's a nice conservative color scheme to begin with but as you've seen you can do pretty much anything you want um, you know so 
even after you specify the color scheme, you can go in there with point and click methods and, and make it look however you want. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.